So, should we forgive the narcissist in our life? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my opinion, my experiences. Each one of you have to make your own decision. Hopefully, it's a very well thought out decision. But I'll share with you my thoughts on forgiving the narcissist. The first thing is, after 25 years of no contact with the narcissist in my life, I had this wild, grandiose feeling that they mellowed in age, that they realized that they were pretty mean, that they wanted to love me, that they wanted to be with me, that they would treat me better. On every single one of those instances, I could not have been more wrong. And boy, did I pay for it. I mean, it was a thousand times worse than it was some 25, 27 years ago. And I mean worse. We want, we still want that love and acceptance and change and acknowledgement and validation. So my view is, I'm sorry. And I mean that. You're not going to get it. The narcissist simply does not change. I've said that over and over again. And a lot of other people have said that over and over again. I'm sure that you've watched other videos. I'm sure you've read other publications and articles. The narcissist becomes much worse with age. Even if it's a year. So I had this grandiose feeling that they would realize what they did all along. I was being set up. I was being hoovered and gaslit. I would have to estimate that of all the things that I found out was happening, that's probably only 10% of what was really happening. And I'm not paranoid. But that 10% I knew devastated me. It devastated me not only because I craved the love and acceptance. It devastated me because how can a human being, much less a family member, how can a human being do that to somebody? It, 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 it blew me away. It's unfathomable that one person, one living person, can do such things to another living person and enjoy it and get their kicks out of it. Will I forgive? Never again. And to tell you the truth, to be perfectly honest, I forgave because I wanted to be loved. The narcissist only, um, excuse me, the narcissist uh, own family member told me, you have to accept you were never loved. And that's a killer. That hurts. I mean, that dramatically hurts. You know all the feelings that go along with that. A lot of you do. Forgive? I'll never forgive. I will never make that mistake again. And I wasn't the only scapegoat. There were others that were scapegoats. 
There were other family members that lived 2,000 miles away that lost their entire birthright because of the narcissist in my family through manipulation and lawsuits. Devastated that family. Will I forgive the beatings? No. Will I forgive the obvious and known sexual abuse to me and others? No. Nope. I will never fall into that trap again. I will never fall into that trap again. And once I start realizing this, once I went on my road to understanding what a true narcissist was and what was happening to me, I started to become healthy. I began to realize, only a little bit in the beginning, that this was not me. That something very sick was going on. And as time went on, and please know this, time will help if you have no contact. Time will help. As time went on, I started feeling healthier and healthier and better. And I understood what was going on to me. Yes, the fact that I was never loved and will not be loved by this individual hurt me. But here's the basic thing. They're completely incapable of love. They're completely incapable of emotion. So why should I let myself sit in a world of this horrible, horrible stuff that has happened, that is happening? Why should I let myself sit in there? It's not going to change. Forgiving is not going to change a thing. In fact, please take heed to what happened to me. I had this grandiose feeling that if I forgave, everything would be right in the world. Holy cow. Holy cow. If I, I mean, one day you're going to know exactly all the truths. Should we forgive? It's up to you. Me? Never again. I will always remember. But I will remember with a much more healthy mind and acceptance that these are very, very sick individuals, that they are completely incapable of love. And that also means if you're the golden child in your family has turned into a narcissist, which often happens, not always, but often, they know better. Get the hell out of that toxic environment. Dump them. Let them live in each other's miseries and feed upon themselves. Do not allow yourself to be bait. Forgive? You know, what's really, really weird is that I've, I've mentioned this a couple times before, their social circle. They'll stand up as pillars of their society, church-going people. Aren't I great? I took in a student exchange program. Oh, I donate my time. Oh, I give to charity. Oh, I go to church on Sundays. That's them trying to put that outer shell on there. And it also takes away from your credibility of why you are no contact. And if you run into people in that social circle, don't even bother. 
Don't even try to explain. You'll be just look, looked over like uh, you're a Dunsky. Don't even bother. Forgive? Never. App me? Absolutely never. They know exactly what they have done. If anyone says they don't know what they're doing, they're mentally ill, well, maybe they have something else going on. But with narcissistic personality disorder, they know exactly what they're doing and they're enjoying it. And if you forgive them, they're going to feel validated. And they're going to leverage that. It's up to you. Me? Never going to happen again. I'm much, much, much too aware of what narcissistic personality disorder does to people. It's victims. Thank you. I'm wishing you peace. And I hope you're all well.